Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today we've learned that Ubisoft is currently testing out some very interesting changes to some of the operators in Rainbow Six Siege on the technical test servers. The first big one is that Blackbeard is getting another nerf. His shield is dropping from 60 HP down to 50 HP. It really seems like Ubisoft is struggling to balance out this operator, and for good reason. When your entire game revolves around getting headshots, when you introduce someone who is basically immune to headshots for the first couple of rounds, of course you're gonna run into some problems. I guess I just wasn't expecting another nerf though, considering all of the changes and nerfs that he's gotten over these last couple of years. And so now, it's not gonna be as difficult to get through that shield. Now it's only a 10 HP difference, it's not going to be the end of the world, I still think that Blackbeard is probably going to be a decent operator, but this definitely was an unexpected change. Now to make matters a little bit better for him, he is going to be moving a little bit faster. You guys all know when he has his shield deployed, he is a very slow character. One really big weakness is that if you're peeking a window, a lot of times the enemy knows that you're about to peek the window because they can see your shield from a mile away ever before they can actually see your face. And so now if he has a little bit more speed, Yes, he might not have as much HP, but the speed increase might make him a little bit more viable in some situations. We're gonna kinda have to wait and see how these changes progress. Another change that Ubisoft is making that I was not expecting is that IQ is also getting a nerf. They're dropping the range of her electronic detector from 20 meters down to 15 meters, but the big difference is that they're removing frag nades from her and giving her a claymore. Now I imagine the reason why this is happening happening is that over the years, IQ has become more and more viable. Every single DLC, they're coming out with more gadgets that she can detect and take out through walls, and also the introduction of frag nades a couple of patches ago has made her a pretty strong pick. Really good weapons, a fantastic gadget in the form of the nades, and also the ability to take out basically every single gadget in the game as long as it's not through a reinforced wall. She has a lot of versatility, especially in the pro scene, if you have a Valkyrie on your team, that Valkyrie becomes pretty much obsolete if they do have an IQ. Even if you threw them outside with that 20 meter range, she's going to be able to identify where they are and take out pretty much every single one of those cameras very, very quickly. That said though, I'm still surprised by these changes. If you told me a couple of years ago that IQ would eventually get nerfed because of the gadget that she has that hadn't seen any changes pretty much since release, I wouldn't have believed you. It's also funny that they gave her frag nades a couple of patches ago because she wasn't that viable. They wanted to give her more utility and now they're taking all of that away. And so I'm really curious to see how all of these changes are going to be affecting IQ's viability. You would not think that removing frag nades would be all that big of a deal, but it really is one of the most versatile gadgets that you can have on offense. Not only because you're able to take out things like maestro cameras, barbed wire, deal a little damage against the enemy, but also, in IQ's case, being able to identify something with your primary gadget, the electronic detector, then being able to use those nades to take out said gadgets is really, really strong. There's some nice synergy there, and so this is a pretty significant nerf to IQ. Now, the final surprising change, which seems to be a theme with this update, is that Thinka is getting a buff. No longer is she going to have access to stun nades, but in replace of that, they're giving her frag nades. The only thing I can think of for why they're making this adjustment is that Finca, when she activates her ability, becomes more immune to the effects of the stun nade. And so if you wanted to, while you couldn't necessarily just become Ying and throw a bunch of flashes all over the place and charge on in like Ying can, it wasn't to that extent, but now you're going to have to rely on a little bit more teamwork if you want to pull off one of those maneuvers. This is isn't anything new to Rainbow Six Siege. Ubisoft has done this a lot in the past where they remove a gadget that had a little bit too much synergy with the operator that was using it so that it forced a bit more teamwork. I'm guessing that's the reason why they're going down this direction. The thing is though, is that they're giving her access to frag nades, which we just talked about, is one of the most versatile gadgets that you can have on offense. And so I'm not entirely sure what direction Ubisoft is taking with Finca. 
I think most people would agree that Finca is a pretty strong operator, and by giving her access to frag nades, that's going to be making her even better. Now, it is worth noting that they stated that they are going to be making more changes to Finca in the future. These are only a small batch of the updates that are going to be making to some of the operators they have more in store. But the question I then have for them is, why aren't you testing everything all at once? If you have plans on making more adjustments to Finca in the future, you plan on, let's say, nerfing her gadget. I know that's one thing a lot of people have been hoping for. Well, then why don't you do that at the same time as giving her frag nades? This first batch of testing seems like it might just be invalid because, yeah, we already know that it's probably going to make her too strong because they haven't made those other adjustments. And so I, I'm not entirely sure what they're going for. Now, I'm not a developer. I can't see their grand picture and what, and what they're trying to achieve here. But I did find that to be a little strange. And so overall, these patch notes have definitely caught me a bit by surprise. It is once again worth mentioning that this is just on the technical test server. Nothing is set in stone, they are testing them. And so if they find that they've gone too far or this isn't the right direction, they will probably reel it back or not make any changes whatsoever. But we do need to give our feedback. And so if you're someone on PC or you want to try these out, I highly recommend that you go on the technical test server, I think in the, in the next couple of days, and give them your feedback on all of these changes. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about all of these adjustments. Do you agree with the direction that Ubisoft is taking with the Blackbeard nerf and the changes to IQ and Finca? Do you disagree? Do you think they should go a different direction? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.